welcome back to the channel and I have a deja vu we are talking about vegetable shortages yet again I've seen another article again um, online where it's basically telling us that the shortages are far from over yes we guys have you probably have seen that we have the tomatoes back in back in stock amongst the obviously the cucumbers and the peppers as well however it is not over apparently the um, farmers union expect this year the production to be lowest since 1985 production obviously the fruit and vegetables because of the high energy prices and because government have excluded the agriculture from their support scheme that means farmers get no help and because of the combination things of the <coughs> excuse me of the brexit and all the situation and unfortunately the current conflict it's all having a huge effect on the farming industry and it's really I thought um, and I think I remember telling you guys that we are not out of the woods when I did the shortages video and I told you it's not we're not out of the woods yet and it's going to continue it's going to extend itself although it hasn't extended itself because we have had the stuff coming in however we are going to be experiencing the shortages yet again and the farmers are saying uh, that it's going to extend not just from the tomatoes. Um, as, you, as you guys know, we um, import 95% of tomatoes during the uh, off-season time from abroad. So we basically grow very little. So the shortages will extend to this in the carrot and cauliflowers and broccoli, basically anything that we produce and the farmers grow here. And it's really scary. That means and it tells you the, the, um, that the shortages are not the shortages sorry that the shelves are going to be empty like we should get used to that kind of scenario and again it's really scary it couldn't be the worst of time right you know um just with everything that's going on again we seem to be just having the one issue after another again guys moral of the story is like i told you last time it's um not everybody eats fresh fruit and vegetables some people really don't care that's fine you commented before that's absolutely fine but uh having our own produce it's so important it's so important as a country that we grow our own stuff and i just for love of it I, yeah, again i do not understand why the government wants to support other causes and yet don't support our own industry since um i just bring up the russia into this since the russia had their own um obviously sanctions against um obviously many countries sanction the russia their industry boom they're making everything within that so why can't we as a little island why do we feel that we need to rely on everybody else why does the government not want to support our own farmers and our own industry it just makes sense stop sending money and spending money somewhere where it's not necessary but think of our own people because if people are going to die of starvation here because there's no food available then it's just stupid nobody's going to win do you know what i mean it just makes no sense anyway the moral of the story is again guys like i told you buy some seeds start growing if you can if you have a little garden just think about it think of the fruit and veg that you normally rely on and i appreciate you cannot grow everything here because of the current climate however grow something that for example again if there's no tomatoes as we know already many of you started which is absolutely brilliant but things like carrots they grow fairly easily give them a nice light soil so basically my point to you guys again please please um just buy some stuff and if you can obviously if you have ability to grow then think and start planning of growing because nothing um nothing worse than doing something when it's already too late do you know um currently the issue with um was in pennsylvania with the um when a lot of people basically ran out to buy water because they thought the water is polluted and of course everybody's sort of you know queuing up and buying the loads of water because everybody worried is a perfect example is to doing something when it's too late be prepared it is coming and it's going to be happening it's happened with the tomatoes yes for a really short time but it will hit us hard and they said it there it will be a massive just imagine suddenly if our production of farming say drops by like 50 percent imagine suddenly you got 50 percent less of the fruit and vegetables currently available in the supermarket is going to create a problem people are going to be like rushing in first thing in the morning to try to get available fruit and veg and then whoever comes in the afternoon it probably be nothing available like it was happening when the tomatoes were in shortage so basically that guys please plan in advance if you care about or you need to have your family need to have fruit and vegetables let's call vegetables not really fruit that you probably can't grow a lot but the vegetables then plan ahead do what you need to do in the garden buy some seeds and get growing anyway over and out i see you on the next one bye bye